So on this one, again, guys, we automatically know that there is going to be, based on this information, we know there's a hole at negative 4. So therefore, we need to just be able to figure out what is the basically the um, left and right-hand limits, which we know is just going to be a function. Whatever this function looks like, it's just going to be a value. There's just going to be a hole there. So we need to figure out what would be the value um, at negative 4. So to do that, we basically need to um, evaluate the limit as x approaches negative 4 of 2x squared plus 7x minus 4 all over x squared minus 16. Now automatically, whenever I see a squared term subtracting another squared term, I know that I can factor that by difference of two squares. So that one's kind of simple. x minus 4 times x plus 4. Here, I have a factoring problem, but you notice that a is not equal to 1. But remember, it's a trinomial, so you're going to factor it to two binomials. So I'm going to break them down like that. And again, what I'm trying to look at is my middle terms need to be positive 7x. So I got to think of numbers that are going to multiply to give me 4, but then add to give, or multiply to give me negative 4, but then add to give me a positive 7x. Well, automatically, I look at this. If I put 4 and 1, if I think of 4 and 1, if I do positive 4, 2x times 4 is 8x, right? And then if I just make that a negative 1, Negative 1 times x is negative x. 8x minus x is positive 7x. And negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Also, it's usually a helpful hint or usually to think ahead. Usually, we're probably going to have these. Something is going to be um, simplified, right? Usually in some sort of case. Um, except i x equals, yeah, OK. So. So let's go ahead and divide out. So now, when we evaluate the limit, we're going to have 2 times negative 4 minus 1 all over negative 4 minus 4. Right? 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 minus 1 is going to be a negative 9. Negative 4 minus 4, so you owe me $4, you borrow another $4, is going to be negative 8. Therefore, my final answer is 9 eighths.